Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, well to wait. You got a few that's been going on for years. But it's cool when they go down a little bit, you know, because it's funny. <laughs> We're going to talk Amir Khan again. He's out there demanding things again, right? Demanding things. Him and Brooke under the set, uh, the same, you know, banner, matchroom banner. Eddie Hearn and them, got both of them now. You know, England still wants this fight. It's still significant in England, even though neither one of these dudes are champions. Got losses all over the place. But still big in England, what they call that, that's an English dust-up. Right? So Khan, you know, we we documented it. He's been asking, Brooke, you're going to have to fight me at 147. We ain't going to fight no, have it at no catch weight, even though I had to strip down all the way down to make my last fight against Vargas. Right? Barely making 147 himself. But his thing is he thinks that, you know, Kell Brook has more problems. Because Kell Brook openly says I have problems making 147. Kell Brook about to go to 154. Right? He only going to come down for Khan. So Khan is, you know, putting the stipulations at 147. So Brooks said, okay, man, I, I, you know, won't eat nothing for weeks just to make it down for you again. Doing it again. So Khan put the late last couple of days, Khan has been talking about, well, okay, now, since old boy said, hello, uh, it's okay, right? I'll do that. The next stipulation came. Well, second day weigh-in, <clears throat> 10 pound rehydration clause. I want to do that. Other fights do it. We want to do that. Right? You know, demanding stuff again. You know, in his mind, he's the A-side here. So I'm just demanding. But your boy, Kell Brook, has responded awesomely. I got to give it to him. You know, just awesomely. Right? Kell Brook came back. Because, you know, they tweeting back and forth, of course. Kell Brook's tweet was a little bit more potent. You know, <laughs> he said, you ain't worried about no rehydration clause. The only clause you worried about is... Get out the fight clause. Something like that. You know, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing here. You know, get out the fight clause. And he hashtagged him. It was a cool hashtag. It was called Too Shook for Brooke. Yeah, that's cool, ain't it? He should make some t-shirts with that. We should, we, his whole team should be <laughs> running around for the next weeks with them t-shirts on. Right? And, you know, listen. If you're taking sides here, and I am, because everybody knows what I feel about Amir Khan for years, he gets one word for me, and that word, he gets it with Adrian Brawler and Tyson Fury, and it's called whatever, right? Whatever, man, because they're always talking stuff and not fighting in the news more than for everything except fighting in the ring. That's how these boys be looking for attention. Don't give them no attention. They probably just, you know, who knows what'll happen if they don't get no attention. This kind of dudes they are, right? So Amir Khan right now, you know. Basically, you're just doing something to not to have the fight. You know, because the rehydration clause, you know, Brooke is trying to tell him, look, dude, this is not no championship fight. The IBF title is not on the line here. There's no title. It's just us a dust up because Britain cares about this. That's why. We suppose that fought, this could have been a trilogy by now. Right? So Brooke wants the fight. Well, I know Khan in the back of his mind is like, well, see, well like I told you guys before. Brooke ain't in a hurry to be fighting the dudes at 154 either. They, uh, we ain't just going to let Brooke slide here. Brooke wants this fight too because, you know, he could definitely be saying, well, you know, I ain't messing with Khan. I got Lara. I got Jared Hurd. I got Jamal, Char Jamel, Charlo. You know, he got some things to a lesser extent, Jaime uh, Mung Mungia, which ain't nobody in a rush to mess with. So he got some things he could be doing. But the thing is, the expiration date on this fight really is already... Uh, expired, right? They got a few people that will eat some spoiled food, and then a couple of people in England. So y'all better get with it. You know, this is just another example of somebody feeling entitled. What we say, I hate people that feel entitled. 66 to not the Bible. Always lying up on their rival. I guess that's what we call survival. Hey, hey, yeah. Hmm. We're talking about Khan. No, I'm not going to even get into it. But, you know, I'm seriously. Uh, to think of boy Kendrick Lamar, whoever that was, was talking about it. I hate people that feel entitled. I think that's a cool little lyric. So I had to put my lyrics on it. Khan is one of these guys, man. Fans of him. Slow him down. 
holla at him. You know you guys do whatever, Instagram and Twitter. Holla at your boy, Khan, and let him, tell him, listen, man, we, f we fight the dude. 147, he's going to not eat for days just to make that. Let the man relax a day or two, and then you guys just fight. You know, because both of you are big, too big for 147, to be honest with you. Right? So, and, and that's the only way Khan will listen, if his fans tell him to do something. So, guys, fans of Amir Khan, it's on you guys. If not, it's going to go back and forth. And like I said, it's probably not going to happen in the first place. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I am out of here, y'all.